Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Vermax here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest and most useful high ground retakes for beginners on keyboard and mouse. When I say easy, trust me, these retakes really are easy. I've seen so many high ground retake videos that claim to be easy, but as soon as I watch them, I'm like, bro, these are not easy at all. I literally cannot do them whatsoever. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys some simple retakes for beginners or people who have recently switched to keyboard and mouse. I'm not going to bore you guys with asking you guys to like and subscribe in the intro, so without further ado, let's get right into this video. Okay, so for this first retake, mechanically, it's honestly not that hard at all. For some people, it may be easier compared to others, depending on how new they are to keyboard and mouse, but anyways, let's get into the retake. So what you're going to need to do is start it off with a double ramp. As soon as this ramp here, the bottom one, sticks out compared to the top one, that's when you need to place a cone here and then one right above you. You can go out of either side here, but for this example, we can go out the right. You need to place a ramp, a floor, and then a ramp. You jump onto this, and then you, as soon as you edit these two tiles on the floor, you need to jump and then edit this ramp just like I'm gonna show you here. And then to catch the ramp, you need to place a wall right here. Because let's say I did not have this ramp, or this wall here, right? So I would have had it like this, I edit this, I jump, and I edit this, see how it breaks like that? That's why you need that wall there, otherwise it will break. So as soon as you get onto this, you honestly can do whatever you want, you can just infinite 90 or do whatever other high ground retake you want, it's all up to you. This is how the first retake will look when you do it fast. Okay, so for the second retake, it's very similar to the first retake. You're gonna need a double ramp going on. As soon as this bottom ramp sticks out, same thing, cone here, cone right above you. You can go out any side, usually in this one though, I go out the left. So ramp, floor, ramp. You edit these two tiles. Instead of doing this kind of ramp flip that way, what you're going to need to do is turn around, do an entire 180. You place two walls and catch yourself with a ramp. So this is how it will look, just like this. And you have a couple options you can do here. You can just easily, right when you do that, just 90 up, simple. Or if you also want, what I usually do is I place a cone right here, two walls so I don't get shot out, and I do a simple side jump, just like this. The second retake in fast motion will look something like this. Okay, so for the third retake in this video, who could have guessed we're going to be doing another double ramp. So once you get this double ramp going, as again, like before, as soon as this bottom ramp sticks out, you need to place a cone here, one to the side, here, and then here. You could also do it on the this side too, but in this case, we're going to be doing it on the right. All you're going to need to do is do a 180, catch yourself with two walls and a ramp. Then place these two walls right above this cone to prevent yourself from getting shot out by your opponent. And then do a simple side jump. So let me show you guys how that retake looks when you do it fast. Okay, so now moving into the more advanced retakes that require a little more skill but look a little more flashy at the same time. You need a ramp here. Then you place a wall here, 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 and then here. So you do a kind of rotation of walls just like that then you need to place a ramp above your head and then finish it off with a cone then from here you look to your right you place a ramp and catch yourself with two walls and a ramp just like this simply then from here you need to place a ramp here and then get one right there it might take a little bit of practice to get the second one done but after like two minutes of practice it's really easy and you should have it down same thing two walls and a ramp and then from here, what you're gonna need to do is kind of get this ramp here behind this wall. So to do that, you're gonna need to do something like this, then catch yourself with a floor and a ramp. From here, you have a couple options. You can edit out of this, and then from here, you can just do any retake you want, or you can just simply 90, just like that. Or what I usually do, let me break this real quick, is, oh, I sh actually broke my entire thing down. Okay, let's actually redo that real quick. Four walls, ramp, cone, side jump like this, bam, bam, and we're here again. Okay, so when you edit these two tiles, instead of going forward, what I usually do is just do a full-on 180 and then catch myself with two walls and a ramp. Then I press or place a cone above my head and I might edit through that cone or I place these two walls and then do some kind of side jump like this. 
and then from there you can just simply 90 or do whatever you want. Okay, so now moving into the second advanced retake, what you're going to need to do is place two ramps, do this kind of same wall rotation, but instead of doing it on this side, you do it on the right, just like this. Then you place a ramp on top of your head, you need a floor next, and you're doing this all in one kind of running motion, so it kind of uh, is hard to do, you might mess up a little bit, but after some practice, you will definitely get it. Then you look to the right here. You have this wall, edit the three tiles, then you place a ramp and a cone. You can kind of pr place the cone from a very far distance, as you can see. I place that cone there. Then, as you're doing this all in a super running motion, what you need to do is place a wall right here, wall there, and then you do another side jump, but you kind of get yourself right here. You place a wall, floor, and a ramp. This ramp is used to protect you, so if your opponent is above right, they can't really shoot you. They don't have any damage or angle on you so you won't lose any HP. From there, what I do is I usually edit these four tiles, doesn't really matter, you can edit three or whatever, but then I place this ramp here and I do this exact same motion, right? Like this, right? Then I usually place a cone here. Again, so right when you do this retake or this side jump, right? Add it like this, exact same uh, motion you did at the very beginning of the retake. Then I just do a 180, just like this, and I catch myself with two walls and a ramp, place a cone on top, and you can edit through the cone, or you can just do this thing I always do, which is just two walls, and then finish it off with a side jump kind of like this, and then from there, you can 90 or do whatever retake you want. Let me show you guys that again, because it kind of looked confusing for you guys. I'm going to run through it a little quicker this time, though. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is do those ramps, walls here, ramp right there, Edit this way, and you have your floor here, remember that. Then you have this ramp here, you place that cone, two walls here, you jump like this, you know, stair for protection, edit these four right here, exact same rotation of stairs, or walls I mean, and then a stair above you, and then you just do a simple side jump, just like that, but you actually need the wall right here. And then from there, you can do whatever you want, or you can just kind of side jump like this, and whatever you want. It's literally, after that point, you can do whatever retake you know. Some of these retakes are definitely not the flashiest or coolest looking retakes, but trust me, these retakes are definitely super useful in arena and other game modes. If you guys made it this far into the video, that means that I gave you some kind of value. So the least you could do for me is drop a sub on the channel, and I cannot explain how much I appreciate it. We are so close to 20k subs, and when I hit it, I will be doing a face reveal, so be sure to subscribe. If you guys want to go the extra step, actually the extra mile, then be sure to use code VERMAX in the item shop. With all that being said, have a great rest of your day, it's been your boy VERMAX, and yeah, peace.